you know, the protests have died down. We, we know that, but a lot of the people outside of Portland still see Portland as the video outside of the courthouse that they watched on cable news last July or you know, several months during the summer. For a city that wants to revive a devastated downtown and bring in new business and tourists again, this is not great the way that it looks. I talked to economic expert John Taponia about what Portland does need to do to change its image. I mean, first and foremost, uh, we are going to have to illustrate that we have some semblance of, of, of con control in the downtown area and you know one way one big sort of visual way to prove that is to get to the point where we have the confidence that we can take the the fencing down around the Hatfield US courthouse building you are as you walk around downtown now starting to see some of the plywood come off and so those are a bunch of individual decisions by individual businesses uh, saying that they are beginning to have some confidence that if if they expose their windows they aren't going to expose themselves to a sort of needless property destruction now today did kind of seem like a i don't know a little bit of a step the Apple Store reopened downtown. This is the flagship store that closed last May after rioters smashed the glass windows and looted the place. Plywood painted with George Floyd's mural covered those windows there for months. Could Apple reopening be, I don't know, a sign of the tides that uh, the tides are turning in downtown? Potentially, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, here's how things are really uh, looking up for the Rose City. Portland's first Gucci store opened in Pioneer Place Mall last week. Finally, Portlanders love luxury accessories. Just ask Louis Vuitton. We aren't nearly as uh, funny as the folks at the Portland Mercury. You can see here, this is a, a bit of their piece. Just go ahead and read it. It's funny. It's a good piece, and we think it's worth your time. 